This is it, this is real life camping right here. You see this, we haven't even got our tent up. But I'm feeling this euphoric. Let's go watch this set up this tent. So we got to our campground. We just couldn't be happier. We, we borrowed a tent from one of our family members and it's one of the steak tents, which it's probably been like oh, 12 years since we put one of those together. It's a feat. It's difficult to do, okay? And it's probably like 90 degrees here, but it's gorgeous. And we're just gonna be happy whenever we have our home set up. But what we do own is an instant pop-up tent. So we just spent like 40 minutes trying to do the steak tent because it was bigger. That was our whole reason why. But we're just gonna go with our pop-up tent that we bought. So watch how easy it is. Extend the leg. Pop it in place. Extend the leg. It's happening. We're almost uh. there. Wait. Home sweet home. I don't know why we try to make life difficult. What? Why do we try to make life difficult? I don't know. So for all of you uh, beginner campers, or you haven't done it in a while, or if you just want to make your life easier, this is the Coleman Instant Tent. It was like $90. Absolutely worth the money, in my opinion. You see this Florida, the heat, that's what makes it worth it. If it were, you know, 72, chill zone, you can relax, slowly put up your tent. But you see this? You see this water coming on my face? That makes easy tent way better. <laughs> and and since we just moved out of our home, we had these plastic rugs that are like patio rugs. And we use those as our tarp and it makes for a lot cuter area and you don't get your feet nasty, right? That's right. Okay, we did it. We got the camp set up. That was a doozy. I'm not gonna lie. We kind of made it a little bit harder on ourselves than we needed to, but live and learn. We've camped a few times, but we're no experts by any means. That's why we got all of the easiest setup stuff you could imagine, right? Um, but right now, let me show you our setup. I'm stoked. It finally feels like a little home and the weather has cooled down a little bit, so I'm gonna have an espresso and Amber has got her beer, but at Fort DeSoto, it's no alcohol allowed, so shh. We stay breaking the rules. Look at Amber, I think she's finally relaxing. What you think? Relax, I think this is what camping is all about. We got the basics set up, but I think whenever you're camping, and maybe this is, if you, you might find this similar too, but usually by like the second day, you kind of get everything figured out and it's placement correct and how you like it, you know what I mean? So, let me show you what we got so far. Got my espresso going. We got our tent. See, it's a pretty good size, honestly. Like, this is a good size tent, you know, it's just comfortable enough. We got it pretty cozy in there. I'll probably turn the bed that way whenever we actually go to bed, but for now it's just for chilling. We got a trunk full of stuff. We got all our stuff in the trunk safe. We got our little table. And then all of our like important things and our belongings we, we're keeping in the car just in case it starts to rain. Um, the coolers are in the car obviously to keep it a little bit cooler than if it's out in the heat. Well, if it's out in the sun, I guess. But we got all our bags in there and it's looking like a little camping home. We also got a few things on the menu for this camping trip that I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna cook and it's pretty easy stuff. It's gonna be delicious, I know it. I just got this grill, but I'm testing it out with the coffee. And it works. The handle's pretty hot, but got my espresso in there. Okay, time to cook. So tonight we're gonna have some shrimp. We got some Gulf Coast shrimp from Shark's Seafood Market in St. Pete. St. Pete? 
um, on our way here. So it's like 20 minutes away. Seafood market got all this good stuff. So much good stuff. We got a smoked fish dip. We got some delicious shrimp. He gave us some free ones of these like big red prawns. So we're gonna grill those up. I'm trying something new. I'm trying to do some of the uh, wood chips to give it like a little bit of a smoky flavor. You can see them smoking right now. So this is almost ready to go. So I'm gonna hand this off to Amber to talk. What are you doing, Amber? Right now I just skewered up the mushrooms. Look at these honkers, these are huge. And I just put them on some skewers. We wet them first because you have to or else they'll burn. And here we've prepped some zucchini. I've put some seasoning on and some squash. We have some bread because Juliette likes that. We have some pickled okra here. And we also have scallops, which I'm excited about. We got them already skewered, so it'll be way easier than doing them ourselves. I don't want salt and pepper anymore. Wow, that was an intense night. So I can't really say that I had a good night's sleep. Uh, we went to, we like started to lay down around like 10 p.m. And then there was just like raccoons and it was, Amber was really hot. So, and all we have is this tiny fan. So I think I'll go get us a bigger fan today. But um, yeah, she was super hot. So we like, she actually got out and like rinsed herself off. And then I, I like doze in and out and then around like 3 a.m. there was this intense thunder and lightning storm. Like you could have your eyes closed and you would see the lightning flashing so bright. We were kind of freaking out. It rained really hard from about 3.30 to like probably 6 or something. And we went in the car and just kind of like slept there because it felt a little unsafe honestly. I don't know if we were being just scared but... I think it was worthy of being scared because I think a lot of people in the park were actually like getting up and stuff and we could hear a lot of movement and commotion because there are quite a few tent campers here. So it's like 10, 10 a.m. now. We got a little bit of rest. We woke up at 8 and just kind of like cleaned ourselves off and stuff and refreshed and slept for a couple more hours and Amber's still just uh, lounging around because now our tent's super cozy. The weather is amazing. We're gonna have day two of camping at Fort DeSoto Park. Should have a fun day ahead. I'm gonna start and cook some breakfast so we can get our day going. So this is my favorite grilling breakfast. We take all of the leftover veggies that we grilled last night. So I have some of those twice baked potatoes that I just chopped up, some mushrooms, some zucchini and squash. I'm gonna crack some eggs over and it's gonna be a hash mash scramble with some coffee and some fruit. Can't go wrong. It looks kind of ugly, but it tastes delicious. Three. Three eggs up in there, so let it cook. We're just gonna eat it out of there, are you ready? Yes. Breakfast is served. Take a bite. My fork is so hot, I can barely touch it. The sun has heated it. Okay, let's see. Mmm. Mmm, my mushroom from the grill last night. That's how you breakfast. We couldn't do it. We couldn't do it. We woke up and it was absolutely sunny and beautiful and we made breakfast and then the storm rolled in and there's lightning crashing and thunder and it's not expected to go away for mm, 24 hours so yeah in order to wake up it. luxuriously on my birthday tomorrow 
we're gonna get a hotel. Yeah, tomorrow's Amber's <laughs> birthday, so our original plan was to have two nights camping and then hotel for the rest of the week, but we're gonna hotel a little bit longer because we just packed everything up. The rain has been threatening us for like the last hour to just pour down. Just since we've turned this video on, it started sprinkling on us. Yeah, it's a... Uh, it's kind of miserable at night when you got rain falling on you, thunder, you gotta go sit in the car. We, and then we, we don't scared. need to do all that, like seriously. I thought someone was walking around our campsite, but it was a raccoon family. <laughs> that was hilarious. I looked out the tent because we had our little things down that I could see through the screen and I there was have little, my, little raccoons walking around. I didn't have my glasses on, so to me I was just expecting the craziest thing. So thank you for clearing that up for me. And we packed up in, how long, maybe an hour or so? Yeah, 45 minutes-ish, yeah. And hosed off and I put on my bathing suit, which I promise is the only thing that I'll be wearing today. We did get to see a beautiful sunset last night, so and we made an amazing meal. That was really fun. We have a lot more camping trips this uh, coming up. So I want to see if they're going to play out. I think we're going to still try. Um, but maybe every time we camp, we learn something new. That's for sure. So <laughs> check <laughs> off to a hotel. <laughs> so this is site number two at Fort DeSoto. I recommend site number one and I'm going to show you it's right next door. If you're going to do tent camping at Fort DeSoto, I recommend site one. We did a little loop around and from what we could tell, it looks like this is the best one. You have a waterfront view, shell area, palm trees surrounding it. It's super nice. I, I would get number one if we were to come back again, maybe in like April, not in August. I don't know, baby. But yeah, this one is really nice, super shaded. This is the one I would go for. I don't feel disappointed in us. I do feel a little bit disappointed in the weather and the conditions. But it was a good learning experience for our future camping situations. We are not giving up on camping yet. We are gonna be going to a couple different camping spots in Florida this coming month. And I think I know what we need to do. We need to minimize, that's for sure. We brought way too much stuff. Um, I did have an expectation on like all of the food that I wanted to cook and everything that I wanted to do, but I mean when you're packing up so many things and it's all nasty and dirty and the weather is intensely muggy, it ain't nice. So I think we're going to minimize and we're going to try again. Stay with us. We made it to the hotel, but I do want to say one more thing about camping is it makes me realize that me and Amber are an amazing team. <laughs> we did not complain at each other. We didn't gripe. We weren't being rude. And we had to unpack and pack everything in. It was wet and dirty and it was super hot. And we still work together so well. And I'm just so grateful for you, seriously, and that we do that. We do what we need to do together. And if so you want to know our secret, what we did is we got a hose and any time that I would get hot and irritable and before I would speak I would take a breath and she would acknowledge that I was irritated and she'd say go hose yourself off and I would and it would restart everything. <laughs> I was like hose yourself down. <laughs> if you're looking for an adventure just go camping. Just go camping.